fire signs. This is cool. Let's see what messages we have. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages for guidance do we have? This is for February 26, 2020. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. What guidance do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh, Aries. We have Angel of Diet and Nutrition. It says, pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. That is about what you take inside your energy as well. Okay. What messages do we have for Leo? All right, Leo. We have Goddess of Oneness. It says, someone you love is thinking fondly of you at the moment. We also got this for Virgo. All right. So let's see what messages we have. Messages, guidance for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. My mind went blank. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Sagittarius, all right, Sagittarius, we have Angel of the Universe. It says you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. The underlying message is Goddess of the Shadows. It says what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. All right. So let's see what messages we have. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for February the 26th, 2020. What messages for guidance do we have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? This is for February the 26th, 2020. Messages, guidance for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, February the 26th, 2020. Ooh, moon card here. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could also have some fear, some hidden thing. Ooh, eight of swords here. So either your fear is keeping you from moving forward or you're dealing with the Pisces and there is some interference um, in regards. You could feel trapped by a situation. King of Wands here could be in a space of focusing on happiness. Nine of Cups here. With the judgment here, there could be an awareness and awakening that is happening. Knight of Cups here could be an offer that is coming in, or you could be making an offer here. Emperor. Ooh, so this could be a masculine energy energy that is making a decision to make an offer in regards to something. Okay. Now, I've seen the Knight of Cups in the air sign reading, but I'm not sure that you're dealing with an air sign. Um, and if you are, you could be in a space of cutting them off uh -huh. all right so knight of wands here i mean king of wands here why is this king of wands here we have emperor so this could be aries energy here three of wands here someone could be in space of of okay so emperor is not just aries but it is that's the zodiac sign that associated that is associated with the emperor could be any masculine energy that is in a divine presence could be in a space of establishing their strength and being in alignment with creating a new path or with mastering or innovating something new for themselves with the seven of pentacles here there could be some new investments that you're looking into or that you're moving toward now the only thing that could be interfering with you moving toward that is your own fear um either fear of emotions or an interference from from a Pisces. So we have the Nine of Cups here. Why is this Nine of Cups here? We have Four of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like for some of you guys, you could be in a space of, or you could have been in the space of being all guarded, but with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like you could still be, you could be holding on to your happiness here. Um, could be in a space of not being concerned, Knight of Swords, wanting to move forward from a situation, from an option. Seven of Cups here. I feel like there's some anxiety around that, or you could have had some anxiety. But with the Nine of Cups, I feel like you're no longer concerned. I do feel like you're taking action, and you could be in a space of making a decision. Now, there could be some confusion, or you could have a lot of different options to choose from. But I feel like there's a awakening that is happening here. Judgment here in the surrounding energy. We have Knight of Pentacles here. With the will of fortune, some of you guys are putting some things in motion, very methodical and creating change within your life. Three of cups here. I feel like you're putting the change to, this is definitely some stuff that I've seen. So strength here, page of wands with the magician and the page of cups. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're finding the strength to really focus on what you feel with inside of yourself. And this is creating some change. So I feel like you're confident about moving forward. Mm. Some of you guys could definitely be dealing with an air sign. Um... 
check out that air sign reading with the knight of cups here why is this knight of cups here six of wands here i do feel like you're moving forward here could be dealing with a gemini you could be dealing with a gemini ten of cups here i do feel like you're making a decision that's going to make you happy so someone's i feel like you're at, you're moving off your emotions making a decision you're moving toward victory for yourself because your perspective has changed here hermit here Empress Hermit and the Hangman. I feel like you've been thinking about starting something new. You may have dealt with some regret in the past, but I do feel like your perspective about a situation is changing. So I do feel like you're kind of in a space of mastering your feelings and really moving off of what you feel. So this Emperor here. Why is this Emperor here? Why is this Emperor here? Uh-oh. Why is this Emperor here? We have the Page of Pentacles here. Could be seeing the value of making an offer here. Page of Wands here. I feel like there's some communication that is happening. Six Swords, Hangman with the Eight of Wands. Some of, somebody is, somebody's perspective has changed. If there was a... Um, how do you say? If there was suspension before, I feel like that is no longer. I feel like someone is really gaining control of that. I feel like someone's facing their fears because they're realizing that their fears were an interference in them being able to move forward. All right, so let's see here. What guidance do we have moving forward? What guidance do we have moving forward for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Time and Rising of Venus? Shoot. What messages, what guidance do we have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Whoa. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. What guidance do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus moving forward? All right, Aries, we have ambition. I'm trying to tell you, Aries, you could be in a space of just doing it. You're nurturing your ambition right now. So, Aries, this could be you that is in a space of making an offer, really moving forward. What messages do we have for Leo, Sun, Rising, and Venus moving forward? We have fortune here with an illusion. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're changing an illusion, no longer being in a space of in that moon energy um within your feelings there's a transformation here to what was once not true or not evident i feel like there's a change there and it's fortunate that there's a transformation to that illusion what messages do we have for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus all right sagittarius we have forgiveness so you could be in a space of either asking for forgiveness or really moving into a space of forgiving someone with transformation here for all of my fire signs i do feel like there's a transformation i do feel like you're starting to realize that the only interference with you taking action is your own fears or this illusion that you may have been in this is all i have until next time y'all peace oh.